So we're in Fresno, California. We um, are almost fully loaded in. So we're gonna walk through and look at some production stuff, some camera stuff, some audio stuff, some backline stuff, maybe even some coffee stuff. What's and that? yeah. What, um, what you're doing on this tour? I am the backline tech, I think. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just here for the good vibes and the hangs. You wanna show us your world? It's not set up yet. Uh, Is it? Hi, I'm Gabe. Uh, I am the main backline tech for the Lake and Wickham tour. Um, and I just, it's my job to make sure things sound good and are running properly. And if stuff breaks, it's on me. And if things sound good, it's on me. Guitars are in tune? Yeah. Oh, it's guitars That's on Park, though. Yeah. Guitars are not in tune, it's Park's fault. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So this is your little station over here? Yeah. It's a little messy right now, but I have my little workstation right here. Um, I'm running through Kemper for uh, Brandon Lake. He's playing a few of the songs. It was just the easiest option to go with. Um, just instead of having a real amp, you know, it's a lot nicer to go with the, the direct option. Um, and they sound fine, sound, sound good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is it. This is my world. Here are all the guitars right here. So many guitars, and they're way too expensive, but they sound amazing. monitor engineer so this is my console this is the setup that we have going right now um, currently what I'm doing is coordinating RF um, RF has been quite a challenge on the store specifically just because um, the environments are always tricky and then we also have a massive LED rig that we have to shoot through so um, if you know if you don't know um, RF and LED typically don't get along really well so um, it's kind of what we're going through right now but, yeah yeah so you're running Digico and Waves for Digico your setup? Digico and Waves. So we have the 338, it's running 1619 uh, for the firmware. Uh, 1619 has been interesting just because there's a couple bugs that I'm starting to notice, but like all in all, it's been solid. Um, a couple times, like I've loaded my show file and like gain structure is completely wiped to like zero. So that's just one thing that we've had to fight through on this tour. But as far as Waves, it's super simple. Um, API and SSL stuff, trying to keep it really minimal, um, low latency, obviously, but uh, that's monitors yeah. in a nutshell. What are you using for RF? Uh, so for RF, if you look over here, we have uh, PSM 1000s and the J8 A band and G10, and then we have 12 channels of Axiant. So it's a toss-up between handhelds for the artists and like body packs electric for like electric guitars and like acoustic guitars and a guitar, so that's what we have Thanks. going on. Hey, I'm Jonah. I'm doing front of house on the Summer Worship Nights with Brandon Lake and Phil Wickham. Um, on this tour, I'm just using the Avid SXL and Waves. And our PA is DB KSL, both main and side hangs. And then we have SL subs for our subwoofers. Okay, so at front of house, we're running Red Komodo with Canon 50 to 1000. We have two of those rigs, the other one's over there. And we have Vinton, these are 9000 
tripods and then uh, servo controls and then we're running the Komodo Link which allows us to control it with the Scarhoy RCP Pro back at Video Village which we'll show you in a minute. But this setup is pretty killer as a front house rig if you're wanting to blend the cinematic and the broadcast iMac together. We're running a rhythm full size on this tour. So this is my station that is behind front of house. Um, allows me to control everything on the rhythm. We're using a Ronin 2 as our pan tilt stabilized head. And it's a Komodo with a 17 to 120 from Canon on it, which is pretty much the best setup that you can ask for. Usually the track's in front of house. Sometimes we've had to be in the pit, but this gives us the big stage reveal. And then plus we can get some tights with that 17 to 120. Um, showing the artists and kind of going through hands and that kind of thing um, on the stage. Okay, so backstage at Engineering, Constellation 8K, we're running a 4K 60 backbone and the cameras are running in 4k 2398 so we still have all of the missing frames so it still looks cinematic um hyperdex image pro 4ks because you have to and then two mac pros running inbox which is controlled by lighting um and then an e2 as our master event switcher before it hits the screens, which we're running Brompton, and Vanish 8 as our LED. Hey, I'm David. I'm the video director on this tour. We are running a Blackmagic Constellation 8K with about five cameras. Some nights we have six cameras, and uh, all red Komodos, as we talked about, at front of house. Um, we have a Scarhoy RCP Pro, so we can have camera control for our follow cams. And my job is to look at the cameras, cut them, and um, tell a story about what's happening in the room every night. So these are our two stage cam handheld rigs. Our first one here is a Red Komodo with a Canon 17-120. This camera has the longer lens so we can get more of those detail shots on stage right as well as some reverses. And the other side has the opposite with a little bit of a wider range so we can get uh, versatility and different shots. We're also running Teradek Bolt 4K 1500s, I believe. Um, two of those on stage. We have one stage left, one stage right for both of our handheld cams. This is cam three, our stage left handheld cam. It's on a Canon 16 to 35. And this mainly focuses on uh, drum stage left and electric and some reverses here and there. But um, again, this is more of our wider shot, more of a fun kind of um, different feel. You want to say anything? No. This is Andrew. Andrew holds this and runs around all night. And his arms get very strong each night. Look at that, single-handed. We do have a high and wide lock-off every night just for post if we need it. We are running a... <laughs> it's a Tokido, let me just... Ta 20. Takita? Tokino. We're running a Takito. <laughs> we have a Takino 11 to 20 up there, and that's a really nice wide. We're filming in 6K, so we can punch in if we need to, but that wide's really great to have as a safety if we're cutting for post. We also have, if we need it and we want to switch, we have a 15.5 to 47, a 30 to 105 somewhere, and a 25 to 250 as well. We also just picked up a Sigma 50 to 100. Um, sometimes we swap that out on cam three if we want more of those tighter and detail shots if it's feeling a little static on that wide lens.
Hey guys, welcome to our um, rig overview. Today we're going to be talking about the fire alarms and how we can prevent setting them off. Hi, man. Master, I think it makes drip coffee and it's tour branded. This is an ode grinder from Fellow, the best of the best. Some really dirty people are refusing to clean this. Oh, wait! Wait. Oh, gosh. Just, just wait. Just hold on. Oh. Ha ha. Push for it. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, did you know about this? Huh? Did you wait. know about this? The little, little brush? thing it comes no. with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's so satisfying. Mine at home is just is much cleaner. But this is the fellow oat grinder. It's gorgeous. It has these really incredible bird grinders in here, which you can't see. Oh, but it does tell you which uh, size grind you might need depending on what coffee you're trying to make. It's very, very nice. Highly, oh, highly recommend. Next we have We'll clean that later. Caleb, what's this? Scale. What kind? Coffee bean scale. This is probably from Amazon. Yeah, definitely. And our Breville nice espresso machine. Espresso, not espresso. I don't really know what it's doing. Oh, we're supposed to change the filter. It's gonna be fine. Just look at all the things that you can make here. Touch screen. Touch screen. Uh, espresso machine here. We got a nice tamper. We got a uh, nice <laughs> refrigerator, probably from KitchenAid. It's uh, pretty great. Got some beans from Tag. Oh, most importantly, dude wipes. 